Hi, welcome to Stamp with Ginny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this fun, twisty card. Perfect for the holiday season. So let me set this aside and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock. This happens to measure eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to lay this on my score board and I am going to score it at two and three quarters and four inches. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score it at two and three quarters inches. Now that I have those first score marks made, I'm going to move on to the next step. And for this I'm going to take my scoring tool and a ruler. And I'm going to find that center score line on my card. And I'm going to lay my ruler against my score tool and then swivel it to find the other side of my score line. And then I am going to score it by running my tool across it a couple of times. And I'm going to do that same thing on this side. Finding that score line and running my score tool. Okay, now that step is particularly important because you want to make sure that you're hitting those score lines exactly. It takes a little bit of practice possibly, but that's going to make your card fold better and the corners not rip. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to fold the card on all the score lines. And I'm going to do this several times because I want these crease lines to be nice and tight. And you'll even want to take your bone folder and go over those lines a couple of times. And like I said, you're wanting to make those crease lines nice and tight and so that your card opens easily and folds easily. And this is the easiest way to do that because you're breaking those paper fibers down. And even do those small score lines that are diagonal a couple of times going back and forward. Okay, now that I've got that basic scoring done, I'm ready to move on to the next step. To you, I find holding it with the long boxes on my right hand and the square boxes on my left hand the best. And I want this to go to um, the top where the mountain here comes towards you. And then I'm going to pinch and push up, fold down, and once again, take my bone folder to make those nice and tight. And then all I have to do is pull that diamond up slightly and use my scoring tool, excuse me, my bone folder to once again mark those lines and make them nice and tight. And then all you have to do is open your card and it swings and folds. Now, just a quick tip when you get ready to decorate your card, you want to make sure that you've got your card base the way you want it. If you ask me how I know that, I've done the focal point in the wrong direction a couple of times because I didn't fold my card first, making sure which direction it went. Here's the card I made using the Flurry of Wishes stamp set. And here's the card I shared with you last week on a blog post using our autumn stamp set. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7, and you can get there from my blog, www.stampwithginny.com. Thanks for joining me.